Hi everyone, it's Danielle with Northlawn Flower Farms. Today I want to share with you how to get rid of Japanese beetles organically. So you know, these guys show up very late in June. They persist for about a month and a half and then after mid-August comes, we're done with them. But it's July now, they're here, they're feasting on my plants and we need to take control. These guys are an invasive pest. They came over here from Japan in the early 1900s. Apparently they were shipped over here on a batch of irises to New Jersey. But the main problem is, is that there's no natural predator for these guys in the United States. So we kind of have to take the situation into our own hands and become the predator, if you will. But we don't have to result or resort rather to using harsh chemicals, especially when we're dealing with the landscape like mine, which is only half an acre. So I've already harvested a bunch of Japanese beetles for you to see this morning. So here they are dead. All I used to kill these guys was a bucket of water and a few drops of soap. Dawn, any kind of dish soap will work. The dish soap is there just to break up the surface tension of the water so that these guys will drown when you hit them in. And the most important thing about doing this process is to do it as early in the morning as possible because then the beetles will not fly away. They almost act as if they're drugged up really early in the morning. So you can just hit them right into the bucket and they drown. You don't have to worry about them flying up into your face or anything like that. And just so you know, they don't bite, they don't have spikes on them. So you don't have to worry. You can actually just pick them right off the plant and put them into the bucket if you desire. So let's say that it's early in the morning. It's actually in the evening now, but if it was early in the morning, I go outside, I'd have my bucket of soapy water. I would put the bucket right underneath the beetle or beetles, which it probably is. And I would just knock it right down in there. And I would continue to do that until I get all the beetles that I can see. And think of it like this, it's a time consuming process. You have to do it every single day. You have to keep on top of it, but it's an investment in the long run because every female beetle that you kill means 40 less beetles come next year. So really just keep on top of it, you know, just make it part of your everyday routine and then you'll quickly take care of them. Another thing to think about is when you have a lot of beetles feeding on leaves, as you can see that I do here, they do something what's called skeletonizing the leaf. And let me pick a leaf that's um, skeletonized for you. I got some footage of some that are even worse than this that I'll throw up on the screen. But here's one that's half skeletonized. So what I wanna do after I finish my morning routine of harvesting all the beetles and putting them in my soapy water is I wanna go ahead and remove all these leaves from the plant itself. Because once the plant is severely damaged like this, it's actually sending out a chemical compound that, hey, I'm in distress. And the beetles actually respond to that chemical compound and come and get that plant even more. So the beetles are coming mainly to mate. You know, they have that sexual pheromone that they're being attracted to. But then once you start having leaves like this, they're also reacting and smelling that chemical compound of the plant being in distress. So two reasons to keep on top of them, keep killing them and keep removing leaves like this. Sometimes too, that might mean, you know, hacking back the plant a little bit if possible. That's something you're gonna have to determine based on what plant you're dealing with. But a lot of times too, you know, if you're dealing with roses or zinnias or some other type of smaller plants, really the soapy water bucket is all you're gonna need to do. Just do it every morning knock them in there and then I just let my bucket sit in the sun for a few hours and then I dump them in the garbage or the compost later once I know that they are dead. Don't dump them right away. You know if you gather them then you immediately dump them. They're actually still going to be alive. Give them some time to sit in the sun and die and then dispose of these leaves. Don't throw them in your compost pile where the beetles can smell them there too. Well guys, I sure hope that was helpful. You know, there's so much more to talk about Japanese beetles, but the science behind all of this is still in development because even things like milky spore, which a lot of people 
believe in and is great for application on the lawn. Now a lot of scientists and entomologists are saying, well, we can't reproduce the studies that we did back in the 40s. So I don't know if I can really recommend anything other than the soapy water method at this time. But if you have questions and if you want to do more research, always put in that question and then put in the word edu so you get really reputable, great information from people that this is their whole life is researching these types of things. Well, I sure hope that was helpful. I guess I will dump my bucket of beetles for the night and get back to it tomorrow morning. <laughs> Until next time, happy gardening. Bye.